In this video we will continue the series for the NestJS microservices by switching the HTTP request from the post microservice to the comments to the opposite direction. But now I will add also a new feature that this uh, uh, HTTP request will have 10% chance of failure. So in both microservices we will have uh, missing information and we will fix this problem in the next tutorial by adding cron jobs to synchronize the database. Now let's add this feature. So I opened both projects. So this is a post microservice, this is a comment microservice and uh, this is uh, the front end running. So uh, we discussed uh, now that uh, we will uh, switch this uh, HTTP request from this microservice, we will add it to the comments microservice. So the first uh, step that we will do, I will create a variable here, comment, which is equal to this, and uh, I will return the comment here. And here in between, I will send an HTTP request, but to do that, we need to uh, add first here the HTTP module and uh, we need uh, to send uh, almost the same request. So I'll copy this part and uh, I will paste it here. And uh, we need also the HTTP service, so private HTTP service, HTTP service and uh, this now will be a POST request to HTTP localhost 8000 because that is the port for the POST microservice uh, and the URL is all almost the same here we need to send a POST ID so this is uh, the URL we need also to send uh, the text that uh, we created a comment so I will send it like this text and uh, this is the request. After it is done, so uh, we can await this like we did, but uh, I don't want to make this uh, function slower. Uh, I will add subscribe in the end. And the request will be asynchronous and we will go directly to the comment here and then later this uh, request will finish. So we don't have to wait for that request. So log here, console log request send. So we are not waiting for this request to finish. And uh, we will send the request to this endpoint, which it doesn't exist here. So let's create that endpoint. Let's uh, create the function, create comment. And this will be a POST request to the ID of the POST slash comments. Uh, I didn't add POST in the beginning because POST is here. So also we have a prefix API. So it is API POST slash the ID of the POST slash comments. So exactly as we send it here. So this is uh, the request and uh, for the moment here I will just uh, find uh, the post so this will get a param id as a number like this and uh, we need to find the post which is equal to await uh, this post service find one we don't have that function so let's uh, add it here it's almost the same as this one find one will pass an id as a number and this will return just a post not a post array so find one here with uh, this id if we go back now it exists and we need to uh, add the ID there and we will 
find the post. So uh, we simply find the post and return it here. We don't do anything. Uh, be before we make changes here, we need to go to the post entity and we have uh, comments here. So this is something that uh, we will change. Uh, now it will be a, a real column in the database, but um, it will be very tricky. Why is that? Because uh, we want to use these comments as a comments array, like it is any array, but in the database we will store it as a string or as a JSON string. So how can we do that? So for the moment it doesn't exist in the database. And uh, this is uh, any array here, which I will keep it like this, but uh, I will add a column here and I will specify that this is a varchar. So we can do this. So we can specify a different type here, but uh, the actual type that we want to put in the database, we can assign it here. So if uh, we do that, we add the comments, which is also a, var a varchar. Next, I will add the default value, which will be an empty array. So if we save this, we see the default value. Now it is uh, an empty array. And uh, this is OK, but uh, we will have some problems with this. Uh, what problems? I will show you the problems. Uh, when we find all the posts here, I will remove uh, this part because uh, we don't need it anymore. And I will return directly the posts here. So it will be like this. So when we find all the posts, we will get also the comment by default here it is an empty array and if we do that in this app we will probably have an error let's see so let uh, me inspect uh, actually we don't have any posts so let's create one post and uh, we are having an error if we refresh this we can see now that the comments is uh, an empty array but is actually a string. We want this to be an actual JSON array. And how do we convert this value? Uh, we can convert that value by adding a transformer here. And uh, we can uh, manipulate the comments value we will use it differently in this microservice so like any array like it is but in the database it will be stored as a string so this transformer will be really helpful so this accepts uh, two values to and uh, a from and uh, let's specify first one is a from which uh, is uh, this return type here. So the value will be a string. So we will get the value as a string in the database and uh, we want to return it as an any array. And uh, to do that, we simply call JSON parse the value like this. If we add this, then uh, I will save this refresh this and now our comments here are an uh, empty array and if we refresh it here we can see that we don't have a problem so this is cleared now the next part is uh, when we create a comment we need to push it uh, to the array and then to convert that array to string and to do that we will use uh, two function the value here will be any array, so it should be the opposite. And we will return a string. And uh, we will return here 
json stringify this value and uh, that's it for this column we added the transformer and uh, we don't actually use this function so let's use it now and uh, when we will use it when we create a comment we will simply create a constant comment here which is equal to post comments as we know when we get the value we will get the value as uh, any array so it is converted here so this now it is an array and we simply can push uh, the text that we send so the text we send the text here we can add it uh, as a body parameter so in the body i'll copy this value paste it here and this is uh, the text so we need to push this text to this comment and to do that is simply like this comment push the text as it is so we pushed the array and what is left is to assign the comment again to the post so the post comments is equal to this comments actually not comment comments and that should be it uh, this value this assignment here it is uh, this uh, part we will execute this two function and when we assign it that value will be an any array and it will be converted uh, to string and that should be it what is left now is to save it so we will call await this uh, post service we don't have a save function but this is a save function actually i will convert this to save here save the post and i will convert this to save also better is uh, with this naming and uh, that should be it let's remove the HTTP service we don't use it here anymore and uh, what is left is to test this so now we will create a comment and the comment will send an HTTP request and uh, we will have this uh, log here which is request send let's do it now comment and uh, we have request sent here uh, if we get this value it means that this was successful and uh, if we, refre we refresh now we can see the comment which uh, it means uh, that uh, it is inserted in this database as well so our comments now are stored as a string as a json string inside our database so that should be it uh, now i will add a new uh, condition here because uh, i want 10% uh, of this request to fail and also this http request can fail also anytime because that uh, that is the nature of uh, http requests so i will add here a random integer from 1 to 10 and th if this is less or equal than 9 we will send this http request so this has 10 percent chance of failure and uh, this can also fail uh, if uh, we shut down this uh, post microservice but we won't get that error we will simply return the comment here and why did i do this because it, it may happen that uh, if we are synchronizing data into different uh, microservices we can have some missing information and uh, if we insert comments now so I will insert 10 comments uh, not all of them will be inserted if I refresh now uh, it seems uh, all of them uh, are inserted uh, why is that maybe I should put 8 here 
not sure if this uh, random int uh, is correct. Uh, let me create another post here and uh, try it again. So post post. So why this doesn't work actually? Uh, let's uh, go to the post controller. Uh, probably this needs uh, also the comments, I guess. Do we have any error? So as we can see, uh, we are not parsing the JSON. So the problem should be this one here. So the value that we are getting uh, does not uh, is not JSON basically. So what I will do here is uh, we either return the value or I will just uh, wrap it with a try catch here. If uh, we have any error, we will return uh, an empty array. So this uh, is uh, the case uh, where we will simply uh, create the post. So post to description, save, and it was created. So now it's working fine. This was uh, the change that we needed. And now here I will create comments 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And some of these will not be inserted and uh, I guess a lot of them weren't inserted this time. And uh, what do we do about these comments that are not inserted? So we will fix it in the next in the next series. We will create cron jobs that we will synchronize the database. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.